What is up guys? This is David from Nomadic Overland. So today we're going to be going over the installation of our 2003 to 2009 400 dash accessory mount. This video is going to be beneficial for really anybody who's installing this style of mount. Uh, you can find stuff a little bit cheaper than what I'm offering for sale on our website. Uh, mainly the reason why we charge a little bit extra is because we're including mounting hardware with it. Uh, we've taken all the guesswork out of what exactly you need uh, when doing this installation. You're also getting a cool little sticker with it. Uh, as well as with just the base package, you're going to get the one inch uh, double socket arm as well as the track ball. Uh, this will get you up and running pretty much. Uh, and then if you decide you want to use this track mount as a cell phone uh, holder or anything, we also sell the X mount or RAM mount X grip. Uh, there's a couple other really good options uh, besides this X grip available on like Amazon or from RAM mount directly. Uh, that's why we're not including it in every single shipment and plus uh, we're trying to keep the cost of this whole package down as much as we can um, I don't want to give you a bunch of stuff. You're not going to need if you don't don't need it. You know what I mean? Um, so without further ado uh, Let's head to the front of the truck and get this bad boy installed as you can see my dash is already taken apart There's already really great videos on YouTube how to get to this point So I'm not really gonna go over it in this video I'll attach those videos into the description of this video and I'll also attach them to the product description on my website uh, so you can use those as reference. So as you can see, I've already drilled out the holes. So I'm going to show you how I got to this point. First, what you're going to want to do, it's going to be really hard with one hand, but you're going to want to place tape down. So what this tape's going to do is it's going to allow you to see the contour and the dash a little bit better, as well as the contour for this bubble right here. So once you get to this point, what we're going to do is we're going to place the dash mount up on the, on the dash. It's going to be parallel to this contour right here. It's gonna be really hard to see in the video, so you'll see it in person. And then you're gonna place it as far left as you can to where it's not rising up on this contour for the dash right here. So once you get to this point, you're gonna to wanna to mark each individual hole that you plan on drilling through onto the tape. And then since I've already had already drilled out these holes, I'm not gonna worry about it. You're gonna to wanna to drill just straight through the tape for each one of these holes. I recommend minimum of drilling out two holes and do the widest two holes the center holes start getting a little bit trickier to mount properly because there's little ridges in the bottom of this plastic down here but it is 100 percent possible to do um, i've done it so once you drill out the holes you're going to remove the tape you'll see that you have all your holes right here and now replace your dash mount and then run through your bolt the drill bit that you're going to want to use is going to be a slightly larger than the 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 bolt the reason for that is because this dash once you drill through is going to want to close back in on itself and it's really hard to push that that bolt through if you're just drilling out to the same size as the bolt so i recommend doing it a little bit bigger next you're going to take the supplied hardware which is going to be a washer and a, a locking nut you're gonna put the washer up underneath and then lock it in with the locking nut. And then again, recommend doing the two outside uh, if you're just planning on doing two. For the right side, which is a little bit harder to do than the left, the left's super open. Um, the right side has the uh, air conditioning vent coming through. And so what you're gonna wanna do with that side is come in, it's hard to tell, but you're gonna wanna come in from the left side of that vent and just slide your fingers up and hold in that bolt and the uh, or the washer in the bolt and have somebody else or I've did it myself screw in this this top bolt so that it, it catches um, that's the easiest way to do it or alternatively you can take a piece of tape Put it on the back side of your wrench uh, where it opens and then place the uh, the bolt so it cr like cradles in there in, in the wrench and the tape should hold it in place and then push the washer on top. That's probably a really easy way to do it as well. I didn't do it that way because you know I got I got these 
girly long fingers i can i can definitely do it this way super easy so that's the way i went but other than that once you get these bolts tightened tightened down you're, you're done you, you have it installed the two outers if you just do that is strong enough for your iphone a garmin in reach some, some a gps device in a, in a uh, like a walkie talkie or something along those lines once you start adding things like let's say you want to do an ipad off of here or if you want to do um a laptop you're going to want to start bolting in multiple um multiple points uh, you want to spread it disperse that weight as much as you can so I recommend doing that if you decide to go heavier weight use as many mounting points as you can but if you're only using um, it for a light stuff the two mounting points should be completely fine um, so in addition to this I'm sure you guys has noticed this in the future we're going to be offering this charging port which will allow you to reduce the amount of cables that come down um, into your center console area uh, basically what this is going to do, uh, you're going to run a short cable from here to your whatever things you need to charge and you're going to have a positive and negative that you need to tap into a fuse. I'm also planning on trying to figure out a manufacturer to do something that can transfer data so you could possibly plug this into an aftermarket head unit which would be super sweet um, but I haven't found anybody to do this style of mount um with that function but look for that in the future uh, hopefully at some point i can figure something out and we can get that knocked out but this is basically the whole installation for the um, 2003 to 2009 uh, toyota forerunner again it's a super simple installation really anybody can do it if you have a drill and just simple tools it's super easy to do the hardest part is again going to be lining this up so it looks good uh but other than that i mean it, it's super easy and it's extremely beneficial it's so nice having my cell phone up here super secure and not down here somewhere um you have those uh suction mount ones that attach to the glass and all that but if you're like me, go off road a lot, those things fall off like crazy. And once they get dirty, they're, they're like done. So uh, this is a huge step up. It's really nice. I highly recommend it. And it's not just because I'm the one selling it. it improves the quality of life within your, your cockpit, which is sweet. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, um, if you guys want to buy this, check out my website, shopnomadic.com. Uh, I'll have a link in the description as well. Take a look at it. Let me know what you guys think. We offer a couple of different versions of this track mount. So we'll have it in, um, this one's the, the my Cosmo Hydro Dip. Um, super sweet and then we have a silver black and then in the packaging I left it in the back of the truck we have a black camouflage right now um, the hydro dipped ones are going to be more limited edition type type of thing so we'll have really small quantities available for this uh, the other colors are obviously going to be um, readily available uh, as we get them so uh, definitely follow our instagram as well at nomadic underscore overland and we can uh we'll, we'll be posting up every time we we do a new design um for these which will be hopefully once every couple weeks once a month or so um we'll have a limited edition run of these bad boys so uh, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, make sure you comment below, uh, like and follow our pages. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot a, uh, shoot a message to me, my personal page at I am Borland on Instagram, I M B O R L A N D, and or shoot me an email uh, at nomadicoverland at gmail.com. Uh, whatever you need to do to get a hold of me, just shoot me a message. All right, I hope you guys have a great day and good night.